Well, trade continues to be a very important issue for farmers and ranchers. Simply put, we can't consume or even use all of the food and fiber we raise in America. Here at the American Farm Bureau Federation Convention in Salt Lake City, Utah, Alexis Taylor, USDA Undersecretary for Trade and Foreign Agricultural Affairs, talked with Farm Bureau members about why trade remains a top priority at the USDA. You know, trade still makes up a significant part of farmers and ranchers' bottom line. Uh, and part of my job and what we do at USDA is really to try and work to promote uh, our agricultural sector's profitability. Roughly across the whole ag sector, about 20% of what we're producing is being exported. And so those markets are key uh, to our rural community staying strong and really thriving. Montana Farm Bureau Director Chris Deshmaker agrees and says they've seen the benefits of trade on their cow-calf operation. Well, for us as a cow-calf producer, we have in the past taken our cattle to the end point, to the processor, and, and done the ownership to that point. But when they get to that processor, if there's an opportunity for an overseas market that they can put those cattle into, that benefits the price that we're gonna get from those cattle. Doesn't matter if we're ownership to that point or we sell them to a farmer feeder who sells them. Having that opportunity to go beyond the domestic market is a key point of helping keep the market in a successful area for us as cow-calf producers back at home. However, increased competition has created some trade headwinds for the U.S. lately. All the more reason, says Undersecretary Taylor, to continue to build relationships with our key trading partners. There are challenges. Um, we are facing increased competition, particularly from South America, a uh, strong U.S. dollar. And so I think that's really uh, on us then to be out there, to be building relationships, um, to be investing in our agricultural export markets to make sure we're able to compete with people all over the world um, who are aggressively pursuing these markets as well. And she told Farm Bureau members that the Biden administration's Climate Smart initiatives are helping to build more credibility with trading partners, not create trade barriers. So one of the things we're able to do because of the investments that we have made at USDA with farmers in st every state in the country is around the partnerships for climate smart commodities. We've invested $3 billion. We are uh, doing 141 projects on 25 million acres. But what that does internationally is, is give us credibility. We're able to talk to trading partners and there is not a country I visit or a trading partner I meet with that is not interested in what we're doing in climate smart agriculture, how we're working to try and help mitigate um, the impacts of climate change, but also our agri help our agricultural sector adopt to the impacts of climate change. Um, everyone has an interest in what we're doing, what we're learning. Uh, most countries don't have $3 billion to invest in this, and so it has provided us uh, real credibility globally. Now America's farmers and ranchers lead the world in producing safe and sustainable food, fiber, and fuel for consumers at home and abroad. And that's why the American Farm Bureau Federation believes agricultural trade is so important to our national economy as well as to the economic sustainability of America's farmers and ranchers.